Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can measure distances in both the browser-based version of Google Earth and the desktop version of Google Earth. So the browser-based version you can see right here. Go to earth.google.com and we're going to measure around my local golf course. So I'm going to go to Paris Hill Country Club. Now we're just going to zoom in there. And let's say we want to measure around the perimeter of the golf course and see how long it would be to walk around the perimeter. So let's position it. I'm going to close this window on the right hand side. And down here in the left hand menu, we'll select measure distance. Now I have my measurement set to be in feet and miles. You can change that by going into the settings menu and changing your units of measure from feet and miles to meters and kilometers if you would like. So now I'll select measure distance and simply click wherever I want to measure. I'm going to measure walking around the perimeter of the golf course. You see this particular golf course is laid out in a rectangle shape except for a few parts over here. And so we'll measure all the way around and you can see every time I click it's updating my distance. Now obviously the better I am at drawing in straight lines the better my measurements will be. And there's our perimeter. You see our perimeter and our area for the distance we just measured. If we want to restart, just hit Start New. Now, in the desktop version of Google Earth, which has been out for many years, now called Google Earth Pro, we can also measure distances. I have Google Earth Pro opened here. And we're going to go to the Paris Hill Country Club again. And we'll let Google Earth zoom in for us. And now I can continue to zoom in. And let's now select Show Ruler. And you can see my measurements are updated as I click around. So I want to do multiple multiple places. We're going to switch from just doing a single line like so to doing a path. And you can see as I continue to click the path continues to update until I'm done. Now, if I want to go back over here and finish it up, and we can say that that length is now in, listed in centimeters. We can do it in meters, kilometers, feet, yards, miles, nautical miles, or even in smoots. So you have a few more options for measurement in the desktop or pro version of Google Earth. So that's how you can measure distances in Google Earth. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.